Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna have a little play around with Reese's and I's new wedding present. Now, I don't know if this is technically like a vlog or a sit down video. I think it's just gonna be a little bit of both because <laughs> I got no makeup on. I have no interest in getting any makeup on. Where are you going? But as you already know, Reese and I got married recently and for a little while I've been wanting a Thermo Mix. Now we have it here, pretty snazzy. It's the newest version, so it's the TM6. Reese's family, they all have a Thermo Mix, they all rave about it. And I see his mum use it all the time if we go over for dinner. We decided to order one with our wishing well money from the wedding. And I thought in today's video I'd have a little play around with making some stuff, as we haven't used it yet. You can see some photos from our wedding. Cute! The Thermomix did actually come with this basic cookbook where you can use recipes from that on the Thermomix but the recipes are actually stored in the Thermomix itself. As you go through the ingredients and you put them all in it kind of steps you through what you need to do next. But today I'm going to start with, they said that this is a good thing to keep having ready to make stuff with your Thermomix, is this a vegetable, veg, vegetable stock paste. So I'm gonna to attempt to make that. It says it's the total time is only about 30 minutes to do. So I'll do that because then afterwards I need that to make this pumpkin risotto with bacon. So I'm gonna have a crack at that and we'll see how we go. Let's get cracking. I think you just turn it on. Oh, we hadn't taken this off. That was satisfying. With the app on our phone, it's through an app called Cookie Doo, and it automatically kind of connects up with recipes that you've got on the Thermomix. And I'm going to my recipes in the bookmarks because I've popped in the vegetable stock paste there. So start cooking, and it literally just says exactly what you need to put in for each part of the recipe. Place 200 grams of celery stalks trimmed, cut into pieces. So you can see that the number on the side slowly goes up as I place more celery in. How cool! Nugget standing right with me. You could just... Ah! I'm two, two grams off. One gram. Perfect. So I'm just a little bit over, but I'm just going to hit next. A two carrots cut into pieces. You can also see how many steps you've got left along with that recipe. Just my... Carrot. And then next, one brown onion cut into halves. Okay, one brown onion. Cut it right up. I wonder if this makes any dog food, any dog snackies. That'd be yum. Oh, come on. Gotta be one of the most annoying parts of preparing an onion. It's getting the skin off and now it's in my eye. Next, one fresh tomato cut into halves. Tomato, 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 tomato. One zucchini cut into pieces. Got my zucchini board. Yeah, it doesn't really specify what pieces mean. I just, if I had like a little diagram of how big it wanted it, that would, that would be ideal. I feel like this is getting very full. But yeah, like I was saying, pretty much all of the women in Reese's family has one of these. So when we got married, all I really wanted was to have a Thermomix. Because then I was officially a gal in the family. Because Reese's mum and his sisters and all that use it, we'll probably honestly end up having a Thermomix session at our house. <laughs> What's next? Two garlic cloves. I can arrange that. What do you reckon, Nugget? More garlic? More the merrier. Okay, next. One dried bay leaf. I did buy bay leaves. I don't know if I actually already have some, so I might check before I open up a new packet. I should have checked before I went to the shops. I already have a pack of bay leaves, so I'm not gonna open up that. Pop that in somewhere. One, two sprigs fresh sage. <gasps> oh no, I did. I didn't want to remember getting sage, but I did. It's baby. You can see the little nose poking up. <laughs> no tail. Leaves only. Oh, it's like a chomp. Okay, I've never seen sage leaves before. Why do they look so and feel so weird? Oh, all right. That's not my not my favorite um scent of herb. It's almost like I need to start making making growing a herb garden so I have this stuff fresh and ready to go, but not wasting any. 
It's a bit weird doing these videos because I feel like now that I've got the camera set up with the light and everything, it's like now it's not really a vlog and I don't have a glass of wine in here, so it kind of feels wrong. Maybe I should have a glass of wine, but it's only 4.30. Is that too early? I will open up because I need to use this wine for the risotto. I honestly don't know how good it tastes because I was just looking for a cheap bottle of white wine. I only need like 600 grams, so... Smells all right. I only need, yeah, I only need 600 grams of that wine for the risotto anyway. So there'll be plenty left. Honestly, you're gonna love that sound. Ugh. Not the best Sao Blanc I've had in my life. Ugh. Why are you sitting at the door? Your toys are out here. Nugget sits at the spare bedroom door because we hide our toys in there, so. Which one do you want? Good enough. I shouldn't have given her that toy. <sighs> Nugget, I love you, but can you please shush? Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. Where's my lid? Turn speed selector to speed six. <coughs> I'm kind of scared for this part. How do you, how do you turn it? Oh, what the? I didn't do it for long enough. Oh, 150 grams of rock salt. 150 grams? Sounds like a lot. It's not even 50 grams. Ah, uh, four grams too much. Get it out. That honestly seems like a lot of salt, but the consultant did say that it will feel like you're putting in a lot of salt, but it's okay because you only use a little bit of the paste when you use it in recipes. Place a simmering basket instead of measuring cup on mixing bowl lid. Hello, my name is Simmering Bowl. Turn speed selector to one. It literally says we have about 20 minutes until this is done cooking. So what I'll do is I'll come back in about 20 minutes when that is done and we'll see what it looks like then. So it's all done, I think for now, but it keeps singing at me, so. Oh, it smells so good. It's like shaking so much. Now that, that was a lot. <laughs> It honestly seemed like that was just gonna bounce off the table. Transfer into a sealable container and place into refrigerator until ready for use. So apparently it's done and that was just, that was a lot. Let's have a look. Wow, dear lordy B. So that is the finished product. So I'm just gonna transfer it into a bowl. It does actually make quite a lot. That is my vegetable stock paste all done. And I'm gonna pop that into the fridge for a bit whilst I clean up the bits of the thermo mix ready for the risotto side of things. We are back to make the pumpkin risotto. Start cooking would help if I put the jug there. I've just changed it so the portion size actually makes six portions because I wanna be able to have extra. Well, I just sh shredded up already shredded cheese. Transfer into a bowl and set aside. I'll oh, flip it out. 500 grams of water. Oh, that just spilled everywhere. No. Weigh into simmering basket. 450 grams peeled pumpkin. Cut into pieces. Okay. Now, it'll be a good test, this pumpkin risotto, compared to my mum's pumpkin risotto. So my mum makes banging pumpkin risotto. I don't even think she measures things. I don't even know if she got it from a recipe. I think she's honestly just made it up. But it is honestly the most delicious pumpkin risotto. She does it with different veggies, but she cooks chicken to go on top. Oh my God, it's just so yummy. I just don't think anything will be able to beat hers. So we'll see how well this turns out. I don't even know if I trust that this will make six portions either. My portions that I like to eat generally seems to be a bit different to what is suggested that you eat. I'm a very hungry growing gal. I mean, it's a bit more than the 450 grams of pumpkin, but I don't really think that matters because I'm not taking out one cube of pumpkin to satisfy this thermo mix. 
Okay, so it says that this is gonna take 15 minutes to cook, so I'll be right back when it's done. I think we all know what that sound is now. Treasure a pumpkin into a bowl and set aside. How many bowls am I gonna be using and have to clean? I don't actually think that's cooked yet though. Trust the process, trust the process. Clean and dry mixing bowl. What? How many times do I need to clean this thing? Oh no. I read a shallot as a shallot, but I actually Googled it before I left and it's not that. Ugh. So it's actually meant to be spring onion. So I got the complete wrong thing. So that's, that's good. But hopefully it still tastes the same. Except there's nowhere nearly enough shallot. God damn it. <laughs> to be fair, if it just said spring onion, we wouldn't have an issue. Oh my God, that is strong. Holy sh**. That's f That was an um, extremely, extremely strong hit of onion. And I'm not okay. Okay. Place simmering basket instead of measuring cup on mixing bowl lid. Okay. Sauteing. So that's gonna take five minutes. So we'll be back then. I wish that you could smell what I'm smelling right now. Oh my god, that smells so good. This is to fade 480 grams of this rice. I just want to say as well, I know that this is a very expensive cooking tool. I know it's not something that you need and that everyone can afford. But Reese and I are just extremely lucky and grateful to have been able to afford a Thermomix with our wishing well money from the wedding. Otherwise, we would not have spent that much money on it. But I do really love how easy it is, especially for only Reese and I. It's really hard for us to just cook meals for two people that are healthy and different and we just get too lazy with just making plain basic meals that just aren't tasty aren't very healthy and then just resulting to takeaway i'm really hoping this will get lots of use out of this especially with how much it costs us so we'll be back in three minutes 900 grams of dry white wine that's i can certainly do got a little bit over but that's fine Nice. Place the room basket instead of measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. Gonna cook for a minute. One thousand and eighty grams water. That's a lot of water. That's got me jug of water. I was twenty three grams out of water. That oh, gone over. Whatever. <laughs> One and a half tablespoon of vegetable stock. This is one that I prepared earlier. So we'd only need one and a half tablespoons of this stock. So this is actually gonna last us ages. Place your own basket and measure cup onto mixing thing. That's gonna be cooking for 15 minutes. So I'll be back when it's done. We had 90 grams of frozen green peas defrosted. <sighs> okay, so I just put them in the microwave for a bit. Add reserved pumpkin. Oh. Leave risotto to rest and mix well for one minute, then transfer into thermal serving bowl or other large bowl. Oh, is this ready now? I think it's ready. Wait, what? I'll put it all into a big glass bowl. That's crazy. I thought it would have taken way longer to cook. I've reserved palms and cheese. Combine using a spatula. A spatula. Garnish with extra parmesan shavings and pasta to serve. Woo! She's done! Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Ah! So this is the final product. It looks and smells absolutely amazing. I'm just going to serve it into a bowl. Oh my god, yum! And I'll sprinkle it with some parmesan. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video now because I really want to eat this right now. I want it in my belly. <laughs> But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe down below. It really does mean a lot to me. And let me know if you've tried the Thermomix or if you've got one or if you've heard about it and what your thoughts are on them and if you have used it before. What other recipes are your favourites that you'd recommend I should try? If you don't follow me over on Instagram, you can go do that as well if you'd like. But as always, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.